Hello, friends. Glad to be with you in prayer today. Today, as we begin the week, I'm going to offer a prayer about unity, beginning with a quotation from President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The point in history at which we stand is full of promise and danger. The world will either move forward towards unity and widely shared prosperity, or it will move apart. Let's pray together. Lord, as we pray today, we pray for unity. In times of tension and struggle, we need more than ever to come together as one, unified and strong. Give us courage to go into all the world and take the message of the gospel of peace. We pray for all in authority that you would give them your wisdom and discernment as they lead. We pray that you would surround every leader with wise counsel, that they would be humble and kind, patient and loving through their actions and words. Amen. Our reading is from the book of Ephesians, from the fourth chapter, verses one through six. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, and just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.